This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Auto transmission fluid change. Pull the hood release lever located underneath the steering wheel. Slide the hood safety latch, then raise the hood upwards. Apply the parking brake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Then raise the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Position a large drain pan underneath the transmission fluid pan. Loosen and remove the pan mounting bolts, but leave in a couple of bolts on each side. Unscrew these bolts a few turns to allow the fluid to drain from the pan, but prevent the pan from falling. Carefully pry the transmission pan loose, allowing the fluid to drain. Remove the remaining bolts and pan. Drain the fluid from the transmission pan, clean the pan with solvent and dry it with compressed air. Some models are equipped with magnets in the transmission pan to catch the metal debris. Clean the magnet thoroughly. A small amount of metal material is normal at the magnet. If there is considerable debris, consult a dealer or transmission specialist. Unscrew the retaining screw, then remove the filter from the valve body inside the transmission. Remove the old seal, then install a new filter seal, pressing it firmly in place. If equipped, unscrew and remove the cooler return filter using an oil filter wrench. Clean the cooler return filter sealing surface. Lubricate the sealing ring of the cooler return filter with clean transmission fluid. Then install the filter and tighten it to the specified torque setting. If your filter wrench does not have a provision to accept a torque wrench square drive, tighten the filter hand tight. Install the transmission filter pushing the tube end securely onto the seal in the transmission. Then install the filter retaining screw and tighten it securely. Use a gasket scraper to remove any traces of old gasket material that remain on the valve body. Be very careful not to gouge the delicate aluminum sealing surface on the valve body. It is a good idea to clean the pan mounting bolt threads before installing the pan. Make sure the sealing surface on the transmission and pan is clean. Then apply a continuous bead of RTV sealant to the pan, keeping to the inside of the bolt holes. Carefully set the pan in place against the transmission and install the mounting bolts. Tighten the bolts evenly in a crisscross pattern to the specified torque setting within five minutes of applying the sealant. Lower the car to the ground. Unblock the wheels. 
Remove the transmission fluid dipstick and add approximately four quarts of the specified type of automatic transmission fluid through the filler tube. Use a funnel to prevent spills. With the transmission in park and the parking brake set, start and run the engine. With the engine idling, depress the brake pedal and move the selector lever slowly through all the gear ranges, ending in neutral. With the engine still idling, pull out the dipstick and wipe it off with a clean rag. Then push it all the way back into the tube until the cab seats. Pull the dipstick out again and note the fluid level. It will probably be low. The fluid level should be in the cold temperature range, which is between the two lower dimples. Add more fluid as necessary until the correct level is reached. Be sure to shift the gear selector lever through each range between additions and checking the level. Insert the transmission dipstick and turn off the engine.